they race over seven furlongs then for the group three tote prestige stakes and uh, Clitheroe is going to be dropped in Amanda hug and kiss wasn't there too fast away either value theory in the light green jacket will take them along as they race on uh, up the hill she leads from Dane in the yellow colors with mise en scene on the inside there for Qatar racing in the claret jacket Frankie's got tinderbox on the outside of prosperous voyage just behind them then is the purple jacket of hello you on the rail who's ahead there of wilderness girl in the red cap alongside Clitheroe in the bronze colors and looking on at the back is Amanda hug and kiss as the runners head past the four marker towards the halfway point which brings them in to the home straight here in the tote prestige stake so value theory it is who cuts out the pace for Joe Fanning Waited with on the outside, Dane poised to strike there for James Doyle. Ashin Murphy on board, Mise en scène on the inside is next. Tinderbox is being driven on the outer, getting reminders now from Frankie. Hello You coming through on the inside as they go past the cutaway. And Prosperous Voice trying hard as well. Wilderness Girl trying to keep on from the back, but it's Dane who assumes control of the race now and quickly goes up. Quite an impressive turn of foot there. James Doyle in the saddle here. And now chasing her down is Mise en scène. Dane and Mise en scène who's eating up the ground on the outside. And Mise en scène. She got up to win it from Dane in second. It was tight with Prosperous Voyage and Hello You for third and fourth. That goes to the judge. That is as confident and cool the ride as you'll see from Machine Murphy, who's won the prestige stakes on mise en scène in the silks of his retaining owner, Qatar Racing, and has given trainer James Ferguson in just his second season his biggest career success. Has beaten Danny the favourite into second place, and she got a couple of lengths on him inside the final following. It was